Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment, you can share, you can subscribe. Make sure you click the bell notification and click all so you'll be notified of when I upload. Sometimes YouTube makes a mistake and um, yeah, so just bookmark the channel. Know that you can come back and find me. If you want me to be here, I will be here. And yeah, hopefully you want me to be here. And if not, that's okay too. So I am going to slap it down. I was like, oh mama, please give me some holy water. He's a real good boy. Now he's scratching himself. So, you know what time it is. Yep. The most honorable judge, T.T. T. Oh, presiding. You can all do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person that you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Shaky, shaky. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Boy, okay. The deck's acting a little weird here. Let's go. Sure. Okay. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Sure. Show me the energy the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Uh oh. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Okay. There's some indecision here on the table. Okay. Your person could be wanting to uh, reach out to you here. Okay. Uh, there was something here. That they clearly avoided here. And we've got the King of Swords here. So we've got eight swords down here on the table. So there's probably a lot of overthinking here. Somebody is strategizing. Uh, communication right now. There's something about strategy involved. Okay. So the Fool's the overall energy for the reading. It's that Aries energy. Again, unexpected changes. Okay. So... With that being said, what was avoided here? What did this person avoid? What did this person avoid, please? What did they avoid? Okay, we're going to get one more on that. One more. What did they avoid with the magician? What did they avoid here? Avoided uh, being manipulated here. Yep. Somebody just basically avoided being manipulated here. They got out of a situation where they, they knew that they were going to be manipulated here. And it was clear to them that they had seen that they were going to be manipulated. So they avoided this whole scenario altogether. So, what was this manipulation that was going to happen to this person? It's just, I, I, I separated myself. I separated myself from the situation because I knew I was going to be manipulated here. Is literally what it's saying. It's just like, I, I just avoided it. I, didn't, I knew it was going to happen. I could see it coming. And I got out of it really, really fast. So they don't didn't want to be manipulated here. 
Okay. All right. Interesting. Two of Pentacles. What's this indecision about, please? <clears throat> What's this indecision about, please? Ooh, the deck's acting crazy back here. What's this indecision about, please? Two of Pentacles. What is this indecision about with the Two of Pentacles? What is this person indecisive about? Okay. What are they indecisive about with the chariot? What are they indecisive about? Okay. So it's like, do I reach out, extend an olive branch here to Pisces, or do I just continue with my life? Literally. Somebody here is like, do I just move forward here, or do I reach out to Pisces? What is this person likely to do under this indecision? What is this person likely to do with this indecision? I always want to say indige indigestion. What is this person? Okay. So they're likely to reach out to you. What's this person likely to reach out to Pisces with? Okay. Memories of the past. Okay. So they're reaching out. Very nostalgia here. A lot of nostalgia. So what is this uh, memories of the past, please? Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Wow. A lot come out. Memories of the past. What do we got here? There's the Eight Swords. This is a very good auspicious card here. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, memories of the past. There was an ending here. Between the two of you here. They must have avoided another situation here with somebody else where they were going to get manipulated by somebody else. But it looks like you got somebody here where there was an ending between the two of you here. And this person here was very much stuck in their head. And it's like this person's coming in to tell you that their dark nights are over here. Okay? And they want to show you something here. What do they want to show Pisces with the Queen of Wands energy? What do they want to show Pisces with the Queen of Wands energy? What do they want to show Pisces with the Queen of Wands energy, please? What do they want to show Pisces with the Queen of Wands energy, please? What do they want to show Pisces with the Queen of Wands energy, please? What do they want to show Pisces with the Queen of Wands energy? Okay. They want to show you their fears. What is this? What is this person's fears? They want to show Pisces. Okay. Okay. I want to tell you their fears. It's very powerful for this person. So, what does this person uh, want to say about their fears to Pisces? Ouch! Ouch! What does this person want to say to Pisces about their fears? Yep. They've been struggling. They've been struggling. And it's like their fears here is like that they're, they didn't feel like they were aligned with you. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. Okay. We're going to go right over to the Six of Wands, please. Six of Wands. Let's go Six of Wands. Six of Wands. What's going on here? Sure, Six of Wands. We've got the Nine of Wands. This is a, another message here. This is a message. The Two of Pentacles, they're likely to reach out and tell you that. Likely, okay? So Six of Wands. What's this message here? What's this message this person wants to share with Pisces? They want a new beginning. It's the full energy that was the overall energy for the reading, Pisces. Oh, my. Okay. So you got somebody here that was wanting to be with you here. Somebody from your past. King of Swords, please. What's going on here? <clears throat> What's going on with the King of Swords to the Emperor? 
What's going on with the King of Swords to the Emperor, please? King of Swords to the Emperor, please. King of Swords with the Emperor, please. King of Swords with the Emperor. Okay. So there, there's some kind of message here. But it's like they're very stoic about it here. So what is this stoic message here? Very stoic. Very stoic. Okay. They're hoping for something. What are they hoping for? What are they hoping for? What's this person hoping for? What's this person hoping for? What's this person hoping for, please? What's this person hoping for, please? What are they hoping for? Okay. Oh, boy. There is a strong, strong desire. They're hoping that you two could connect again. They're very obsessed with you two. This person, uh, you're very seductive to this person as well. So they're hoping that you two can come together again. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to clear it down with the white sage, get the final messages, and we'll see what else this person wants to tell you before we shut her down and take her home. Shut her down and take her home. Yeah. What else do you want to tell Pisces? Sure. Okay. They've seen the light here at the end of the tunnel. Okay. And this is going to happen. Uh, divine timing. Okay. And this person thinks you're very attractive, my beautiful Pisces. So, as always, I love you guys, and I will see you later. Tarot's adjourned.